Hello Airsoft fans out there and welcome to another video from Paraplays. In this video we're going to be looking at a universal bipod, this is by ASG and it comes with a 20mm rail adapter. So does this thing actually bring any benefits to your game and are there any negatives to putting this on your rifle? Let's jump in and let's find out. If you've watched any of my other videos you'll know I've had the spring changed on my M4. I've had this pushed to 400 FPS which means I'm playing in the DMR range which is the designated marksman range so I'm not really engaging anybody kind of under 20 meters. So this is really not going to be a benefit for anybody who's going up close quarters and wants to get into the action but if like me you want to be a little bit further out you can low prone, rest this on tires and walls and it really is a benefit for getting those steady shots off and killing those snipers. This bipod actually costs around £35 which I think is quite a lot of money but it is a heavy thing and it seems to be extremely well built. I have been told by more experienced airsofters out there that there is a copied variant of this on eBay which is absolute trash so you really are going to get what you pay for here. It really is highly robust it's a spring-loaded bipod and it's designed to be fitted onto a range of airsoft guns and other weaponry that has a 20mm wrist or rass rail or stud fitting. As you can see here, I've actually attached this to the M4 and you can have this so that the bipod faces forward or backwards. And to extend the rails, we simply press this button. Now this rod is ratcheted, which means we can extend this to any length we want. You don't have to have this all the way out. And you simply press the button and the spring mounted and you can set this to any position you would like. You also have the ability to have some slight movement left and right and you can change this slightly, I'm struggling here with one hand, but you get the idea there is actually a little bit of movement at the top and you can tighten or loosen this off if you don't want any movement. So what do I actually think of this attachment? It does make your weapon slightly front heavy so you're not going to be want to be running around in the woods and doing your milsim with this on all the time. But if you're going to be playing that designated marksman role then this is going to be invaluable for getting steady shots, resting it on tire walls, brick walls or even going prone as we mentioned. So overall I'm going to give this a thumbs up, slightly expensive but you do get what you pay for and the plus side as well is it makes your rifle look damn gucci. Thanks for watching, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Hopefully more videos coming soon on a variety of different pieces of equipment and kit and I've also got a video coming up where we're going to be looking at smoke grenades and flashbangs which should be really quite exciting. Thanks for watching, thumbs up, subscribe if you've enjoyed it and I'll see you in another airsoft video coming real soon.